Our morning lesson this morning is taken from Matthew 25, reading from verse 14 to 13. Hallelujah. For the kingdom of heaven is like a man shoveling a far country who called his own servants and delivered his own to them. And to one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one, to each according to his own ability, and immediately he went on a journey. Then he, then he, then he who had received the five talents went and traded with them, and made another five talents. And likewise,
I know that they are here with us, God. So in the name of Jesus, we worship you and we adore you. We thank you for the privilege that you allow us, God. There are many of us that are sick at home. But we are here this morning. You give us the privilege to be here. Anoint each and every one of us who are here, God. We lift you up, we glorify you, we praise you, we honor you. Oh, God, we have few numbers, but I know you are in our midst with us. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you Remember those who are not here. Oh, Heavenly Father, I pray that you In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, God, they are at home. Some of our home worshiping you, know, at the same time that we are worshiping. But we ask the Lord for mercy and guidance and protection. We thank the Lord for the covenant that you give unto us, God. In this COVID-19, God, we are here, oh God, to lift you up. And the church is strong and well. Oh God, to lift you up. Oh, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we worship you, oh God. And I be Heavenly Father. Bless each and every one, one of us here this morning. Oh God, remember our country, Jamaica. I pray that you anoint us, God Almighty, to Jamaica. In the name of Jesus Christ of, of Nazareth, we glorify you. Bless each and every one, the musician, our pastor, sister pastor. Oh Heavenly Father, we lift you up, we glorify you. Bless the hushers. Oh God, we praise Him. We lift you up, dear Father. And I just God Almighty, like strengthen us again and we glorify your name. We thank you for the privilege again this morning that you have given unto us that we could be able to be able to be here to lift you. Bless the rest of the service in the course of this today. Anoint the preacher, dear Father, touch him and guide him, protect him in the name of Jesus Christ. We glorify your name, we lift up our holy name in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Right. Let me worship the Lord. Let me hear worship the Lord. Hallelujah. I will take the time out now to do a welcome to welcome our very own Reverend Winton Foster and Lady Foster with us this morning. Our musicians, our praise team, for the few members who are here and for those who are tuning in on Facebook. We welcome you, we welcome you, we welcome you this morning tuning in. Hallelujah! Because God is ready to be praised. I'm going to call the praise me now to lift up the name of Jesus. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Bless the name of Jesus. Thank you for bringing us here this morning. We are so grateful to be in your presence, Lord. We're going to sing to the glory and the honor of the Lord's name. All the glory and all the praise. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and what
your hearts will be blessed. O oh God, in the name of the Lord of our God, be glorified. And those of you who are distressed, rest with us. Those of you who are troubled, rest with us. Those of you who are not saved, commit your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Those of you who are sick, God is able to heal you and to deliver you. Oh, blessed be the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I want to say, God bless you, my brethren. Love to see you. Love to fellowship. But we know how it go. Praise God. But I'm looking forward that one of these days is soon be done when we will be together again in fellowship in the house of God to worship and to glorify His divine name. My brothers and sisters, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. From the passage that was read, oh God, from St. Matthew chapter 25, from the verse 14 through the verse 30, I won't read it again. You can just follow me as we go through that passage. And the theme this morning that God laid on my heart, breaking free from fear. Breaking free from fear. For I know a this time across the world a lot of people are in fear. The Lord told us in His Word that men's heart failing them the fear. And hear me now. The whole world leaders and everyone, when you listen to them, to our leaders across the world, listen to the scientists and the doctors and the, the society. People are fearful. Because they don't, none of us know how long this will last. Only God. Knows. Praise God. Hallelujah. But before I deliver the word to you this morning, I want to join me in singing one of my favorite songs. And I believe it's a song that is applicable for this time where the children of God is concerned. Number 390. My hope is built on nothing less but Jesus' blood and righteousness. Praise God. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood.
Stephen. 
Samson said, Keep your fears to yourself, but share your courage with others. Let me repeat it again. Keep your fears to yourself, but share your courage with others. Fear is a feeling of alarm, panic, and anxiety. Hallelujah. Fear rages from mild anxiety to panic. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Fear is a learned response and it needs to be unlearned.
between God and man. Let me repeat it. Fear is the distance between God and man. Hallelujah. For fear keeps you from God. Fear keeps you from going into the presence of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God Almighty. Hallelujah. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, bless God. Bless God. Adam and Eve, they were close to God. They were near God. They could meet each day at a certain spot with God. Hallelujah. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus Christ. But sin tried spear into them. Hallelujah. They could no longer draw close to God. Say so there's our at a distance from God Almighty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh glory to God. But here, my brothers and sisters, in the text, Jesus described the crippling power of fear in the parable of the talents. Glory to God. It is a story about being good stewards of all that God has entrusted to us. Hallelujah. Oh God. The third man who was given a sum of money hid it and failed to invest it. Hallelujah. So the story gives us the causes and cures of our fears. So let me point out to you in this thing that fear causes confusion. Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. The, the right way is before you. The answer to the problem is before you. But because of fear, you are confused which way to go, which way to turn. Hallelujah. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to contrast something with me. The phrase went off. With the attitude of the master, and the other two men who made investment. The master, the Bible said, went on his journey. Glory to God. Hallelujah. After giving them the talent, the Bible said, the master went on his journey. Glory to God. And the first two men went at once to put their money, their talent to work. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, what you notice, my brothers and sisters, that these two men set out with a purpose. And their purpose was to invest their God Almighty. Hallelujah. But the third man was confused. He was fearful. Brothers and sisters, again, let me say that fear breeds confusion. Hallelujah. He was confused whether to invest his talent or to put it up carefully. Oh, glory to God. Hear me. God don't give 
give us a talent to kill for the poor people. God give us a talent to invest in and to work with it for his glory. Oh glory to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Fear confuses the mind. God Almighty and our thoughts get scattered. Yeah. We, yes, sometimes a child going to you're going to exile. And the cause of the fear of exile. You know the answer, you know. Glory to God. But the cause of fear in the exam room, your thoughts get scattered. You mix up, confuse. Oh, glory to the name of Jesus Christ. And it cause you, oh God, to If he was afraid to try, 
Men hun har haft nogle papirer, der står der. Like God Almighty, the first man who made the electricity, who made the telephone. Glory to God. If you are afraid to try, we will not have those technologies today. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh God. One failure is not defeat. Two failure is not defeat. Three failure is not defeat. Half a dozen failure is not defeat. A hundred failure is not defeat. Keep trying. Keep trying. Be sober. 
the spirit of personal discipline and upward conduct. The believer must be a disciplined life. Hallelujah. You must be disciplined enough to go through any situation, any crisis, overcome any problem with your mind intact. Mm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Be sober. We must be free from every sort of mental and spiritual intoxication.
You can't discourage them. But they invest already. My God. Hallelujah. 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 When God bless you, when God talk you, when God give you a talent, invest in immediately. Don't ask anybody as a question. Don't ask a question. Don't ask nobody here at night. God give you a talent. And invest what they have. The best way to conquer fear is to act at once. Immediately, God talk to you. Act. Move. Move. Oh, son of God. Hear me. Fear makes the man dig a hole and hide what he needs for food. Fear. What do you need to put to work? Fear makes him dig a hole. Yeah. 
the glory had left. All his men died. Napoleon was left alone. With a piece of broken sword in his hand. He ran away. The glory of God. And in his journey. He come to a place where he saw an old building with a roof. The Pope tired and weary. Rest there. Lean his back against the wall. Hallelujah. For he saw no hope. Of regaining the kingdom. But my brothers and sisters, while he sat there, he saw an old spider climbing up the wall, want to spin the web from this side of the wall to the next one. God help. Can I talk to somebody out there? Can I help somebody out there? My brothers and sisters, hear me. Glory to God. He saw the spider spin the web and he tried the cross. But the spider fell to the ground. Glory to God, he was not successful. But the spider did not give up and said, I can't make it. It's done. It's finished. It's over. No. He climbed the wall again. But he made another try. He was back on the ground. was on the ground. The fourth time he tried, he was on the ground. The fifth time he tried, he was on the ground. The sixth time he tried, he was on the ground. What the spider did? He climbed the wall and rest. Thinking baby. There must be another way. I'm not going to give up. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The body the same time. The spider climbed the wall. Hallelujah. And he spit the web. And he got it right. The second time he was across the other side of the wall. Glory to God. Six times failure. But the second time he was successful. Glory to God. Young man, young man, young man. Don't let nobody tell you you have to turn to drugs because of fear. Don't let nobody tell you that you have to pick up the gun and turn the cans because you drop up that school and the fear. No. My God. Try yourself at the point. Think again. Think it over. Find years another way out. to go across that Napoleon look at himself and he said if I if a spider can so determine find the other side of the wall successfully I'm going to get up from here. 
he brushed off and said, Get up from there. Glory to God. Pick up his piece of broken soul. And went back to where he was coming from. Thy God, they turned into fight. And he not only had fight with that broken soul and recover his soul. He reminded of my essence. If I perish, I perish. But I'm going to see the king. If I'm coming into the king, if I perish, I perish. But I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. I must make it. I must make it. And no surrender, no retreat. No turning back, no giving up, I'm not dying yet. here. Oh God, entreat me, not to leave me, not to return, but following up with me. Where the fullest I will go, where the largest I will lodge, where the diest I will die. Your people shall be my people, and your God. My God, but I'm not turning back with the sister. I'm not going back to God. Church of God. Don't be complacent. Hallelujah. The glory of God. I'm coming for Fear, fear makes us cynical. Because of fear, the man who hide, who hid his talent. Give him a negative view of life. But many of you living out there with a negative view of life. There are open doors of there, young people. This is true. 
system to be grasshoppers. If there is any giants in the land, this group of them, but pray that it's he, that is in us, that he, that is in the world. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Kill and just for sin. Yes, we can see the giants in the land. They are there. We see them. We know that they are there. But, 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 we are well able to go up and possess the land. My brothers and sisters, stop looking at the giants and look at God and the opportunity that is in the land. Six. 
sisters, anything, as I said, that does not develop the human needs. Fear diminishes us, Lord God Almighty. Fear makes us look small. That is why the Lord, that is why the children is not said we have lost our hearts. Fear diminishes them. God Almighty. Jesus Christ said, Anyone who has faith in me will do what I have been doing. He will do even greater things than these because I go to my Father. If you have buried your talents, oh God, they are not going to be the Because of fear, go and dig it up, dig them up. You utilize them. Oh God, I begin to make an investment of your life for God's glory. I close. One day you will face the same God. All of us will face the master, our Savior. Hallelujah. If you use the talent for his glory, you will hear him say, Well done, good and faithful servant. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God keep you. Arise. Get up from the war. Pick up your talent. Pick the up. Into action for the glory and the praise of Almighty God. Yeah. Hallelujah! Lift your hands and give God praise. Shall we praise Him again? Praise God. What a word for our hearts today. morning I was praying and I remember there's a brother that lives not too far from my house in Santa Cruz and the other day some people were talking there was an evangelist said it was telling pastor and some people were talking about the symptoms of COVID-19 and one of the symptoms as you know is fever and he said, as they mentioned fever, so him, all of a sudden, fever, fever. All of a sudden, he said, it became very hot. Fear. Fear. And that was what is crippling a lot of us today. Fear. Even you. And I prayed and I said, God, take away fear. Because I got on my sandals. This has been giving me a warm day for the last. Hallelujah. I said, God. Take away this fear. Fill me up with faith. Fear is the opposite of faith, my brothers and sisters. Right? Many times we are so fearful. And you know that fear will kill you? Fear will kill you. You die before and all when you're dead and you don't know what happened. Right? Because what killed you was not meant to kill you. And because of fear it did. Right? So let us pray to God for more faith. Counteract, to counteract the fear that it is it from the devil, you know? Yeah. So you want to understand it was the devil who told this man to bury the talent, bury the money in the ground. Right? Confuse this man, and that is what it does with our minds. Confuses us. Right? And then. We are put on hold. Our lives are put on hold. But as pastor spoke today to those who are out there, it's time for you to get faith, more faith in God. Step out of your, your comfort zone now. You're hiding too long. Many of you have potentials. 
I have known people, big men, big women, who dropped out of school because of they couldn't bother, right? And just one word of encouragement. They picked up themselves and started all over again. Stand up with me. Can we be like that spider today? Amen. Can we, you know, we learn from simple things. Simple things teach us how to succeed in life. Many of you this afternoon are worried. You are fearful over the situation that faces the entire world. Men are baffled. Scientists are baffled. Doctors hardly have any answers to this problem that faces us today. But I know where my answer comes from. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest free but holy. Can we sing that song? Even one verse. Can we sing it again? On Christ, the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. As, a, as we sing, if you are out of there and somewhere listening in cyberspace today, build up your faith in God. Tell yourselves you are going to make it under God. If you are a smiler today, tell yourself, I'm coming back home to the Lord. My hope is Lord, many of us here, 
many of us who listen, you have listened to your words, have been plagued with fear by the enemy. But today, God, we are asking you to help us to replace this fear with faith and trust and confidence in you. God, we know that you never fail. You have never failed us. And oh God, if we fully trust in you, whatever the situation may be in our lives, you will help us to overcome. There are many who are struggling right now. Many who are wondering what next. Many who cannot find the next meal for their families. There are many this afternoon, God, who are troubled, who are concerned with what is taking place. Many have lost their loved ones. Many are tired, oh God, this afternoon of what is what faces them on a daily basis. But God, today I commit your people into your hands. I ask to God for strength for your children. I ask to God for grace and for faith to endure the crisis. God, we don't know how long this thing is going to last, but we have confidence that it doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter how severe it gets. You have control over everything. You are in control this afternoon, God. And you promise that you'll never leave us and you'll never forsake us. Your word says, Lord, I am always, even up to the end of the world. So this afternoon, God, I confidently place my hands into your hands. Confidently place your children's hands into your hands this afternoon. Wherever they are, God, I ask you to lead them. I ask you to direct them. I ask you to preserve us, Lord, from all harms, from all dangers, from every plot, every plan of the enemy this afternoon. I ask you to deliver your children, God Almighty. Strengthen us, God, in this time. Oh, God, with some people maybe getting weak at this time. But I pray, God, that you strengthen them. Oh God, give them a word of comfort. Thank you for the word of comfort today. Reassure your children, God, that you'll never leave us nor forsake us. Reassure us, God, that you will carry us through. Lord God Almighty, strengthen your children everywhere this afternoon. We cannot meet physically. We cannot have fellowship as we used to. But oh God, I commit every one of them wherever they are this afternoon and committing them into your hands. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ all over them. Your covering blood will be upon them this afternoon. Your protecting hands will be upon them. Oh God, will you preserve them from all harms, preserve them from all dangers, preserve them from every plot, every plan of the enemy. Lord God, let not with the coronavirus. Go near your children this afternoon. I decree and I declare this afternoon, God, that your blood will follow a barrier over your children. Your blood will surround us this afternoon. Your blood will cleanse us, Lord God. Your blood will keep all this virus from affecting your children's bodies. Lord God, we are being told daily that we should sanitize this afternoon. We'll cleanse us this afternoon and we'll preserve us, Lord, from all diseases, from all viruses, from all arms, from all dangers. Father, I commit your children everywhere this afternoon. Those who are sick, God, I ask you to touch them. Lay your hands on them right now. I rebuke every form of sickness now in the name of Jesus. You're clean, you're healing you will flow through those bodies now in the name of Jesus. Those who are down, I ask you to raise them up this afternoon. Oh God, will you touch them now? One touch from your hands makes a difference. So God, I place every one of them into your hands. Let my brother Chadwick in the hospital. God, I ask you to touch him now. Touch now, God. Bring healing and deliverance. God, you are the great physician, you are the sympathizing Jesus. God Almighty, the doctors can do so much and no more. But oh God, when you step on the scene, 
make a difference. So I ask you, God, to touch your son once more. No, God, there are so many others, God, who are sick, those who have been bereaved of family members. I ask you, oh God, to intervene, to touch them, Lord, cover them under your blood, strengthen them, oh God, to cope with the situations that face them. Oh God, I leave every one of you over your own brethren into your hands. Touch them another time, God. Touch them, provide for them. Many of them are not working, Lord God Almighty. They have lost their job because of what is happening. But in the name of Jesus, you provide them, oh God, or you do provide for the rain. You provide for the frogs. You provide for the crows. You provide for so many things, so many people. people. Oh God, I ask you to provide for your children now. I decree and I declare this afternoon, God, that your children will never be in want. Your word says, your God, uh, my God, will supply all our needs according to your riches in glory. Supply the needs of your children now. Remember your servant, God, lay your hands on him one more time. I present him to you. Cover him under your blood. I pray for strength. I pray for grace. I pray for the anointing to continue to flow through him. Touch him one more time, God. Touch him one more time. I know the devil doesn't like him, but in the name of Jesus, oh, I pray for strength to continue to preach your word. I pray for grace. I pray for shield him. Hide him behind the old rugged cross. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I lift him up to you now, God. And your presence will continue to abide with him. Thank you for your blessings now. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Father, I present this bottle of olive oil to you. I ask you, Lord, that you will breathe on it. I ask you, God, that there will be a transformation. Oh God, where a transformation can take place right now. Your blood will be upon this oil. And oh God, you know the purpose for which it is to be used. I ask to God that healings will take place. Miracles will take place. Your people will be blessed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Can we stand for the benediction, please? He's able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before his throne with exceeding joy. To the only one God who will save and be glory, dominion, majesty, and power, both now and forevermore. Let us all say, Amen. Amen. God richly bless you, my brothers and sisters. God bless those who have been watching. We love you and we are praying for you. We miss you. Oh, that God will take care of you. We are dying for the time when we cannot fellowship again. But trust God. I believe that God is going to see us through. God bless you in Jesus' name.